everyone, today's cadaveric demonstration is on the medial compartment of thigh. The medial compartment of the thigh is also called the adductor compartment for orientation. The groin is seen on the medial side, while laterally the sartorius muscle runs diagonally from lateral to medial. The medial most muscle in this view is the gracilis. Lateral to it lies the adductor longus. Between the gracilis and adductor longus, a smaller portion of the adductor magnus can be seen. Lateral to the adductor longus is the pectineus muscle. These constitute the superficial muscles of the adductor compartment. In addition to the adductor muscles, we can also appreciate the iliopsoas, the sartorius, and the fascia lata covering the rest of the thigh. The nerve visible superficially over the sartorius is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Upon further dissection of the adductor longus, we can now appreciate the adductor brevis lying beneath it. Branches of the anterior division of the obturator nerve are clearly seen emerging between the pectineus and adductor brevis. The muscular branches of the anterior division of the obturator nerve can also be observed piercing the adductor longus, adductor brevis, and gracilis muscles in this image. Upon further dissection of the pectineus, the underlying obturator externus muscle is now exposed. The cut ends of the pectineus are visible, with the upper and lower ends clearly shown. Deep to the proximal cut end of the pectineus, a small portion of the superior pubic ramus of the hip bone can be appreciated. The adductor longus has been completely removed, revealing the adductor brevis and adductor magnus. The medial most muscle, gracilis, is innervated by a branch of the anterior division of the obturator nerve. Another muscular branch of the anterior division of the obturator nerve can be seen supplying the adductor brevis. The posterior division of the obturator nerve courses deep to the adductor brevis and is seen overlying the obturator externus. Other muscles visible in this image include the iliacus, psoas major, sartorius, and a part of the quadriceps femoris. Upon further dissection and after removing the adductor brevis, the largest muscle in the medial compartment, the adductor magnus, is now demonstrated. The cut ends of the pectineus, adductor brevis, and adductor longus are clearly visible. The posterior division of the obturator nerve can be seen innervating the adductor magnus. If we trace the adductor magnus distally to its tendon, the femoral vessels passing through the adductor hiatus opening can be clearly appreciated. Other structures visible in this image include the gracilis on the medial side, the iliopsoas, and quadriceps femoris on the lateral side. On dissecting deeper by cutting the adductor magnus, the small conical muscle obturator externus is now exposed in the proximal region, along with the two divisions of the obturator nerve. The obturator nerve emerges below the superior pubic ramus of the hip bone. The cut ends of the adductor magnus are clearly visible. The iliopsoas has also been dissected, showing its cut ends and exposing the capsule of the hip joint. A small portion of the sciatic nerve can be appreciated lying deep, along with the tendons of the hamstring muscles. With this, we have successfully concluded the demonstration of the medial compartment of the thigh in a cadaveric specimen. Thank you.